Step 5. Creating the Macro Call Macros are complete library parts that can have their own scripts and parameters. Macros are used to generate models which are used in many other objects. ARCHICAD has many macros within its library. We are now going to use the macro object from the ARCHICAD library, which is used to create the door handles. Open the object da underscore handle type dot gsm using the file libraries and objects open object command. You can see above the new button that its subtype is macro. If you take a look at its parameter list, you can see that there are about a dozen. These specify various things about its geometry, materials, shadow casting, etc. Select the GS underscore handle underscore type underscore M parameter and click the right pointing arrow in its value column to see the available values. As you can see, there are 16 possible values, the same values defined for the handle underscore style parameter of the door object. At the beginning of the parameter script, we gave these possible values for the handle underscore style parameter. If you open the parameter script of this macro object, you'll see that the GS underscore handle underscore type underscore M parameter of the macro has the same value set. The reason we did this is because we will call the macro from our door object and we will transfer values to it. The macro will generate its 3D based on the values that were transferred from the calling door object. Activate the 3D view window to see the 3D model of the macro. Notice the position of the local coordinate system of the macro object. This is important because in calling the object we need to move the local coordinate system to the position where we want the macro to be created. We will use three parameters of the macro in the door object. We will transfer the values of these parameters to the macro when we call it. If there is no value transferred to the macro for a given parameter, then the macro will use the default value of that parameter. We will use the GS underscore handle underscore type underscore M, GS underscore handle underscore mat, and GS underscore handle underscore AC underscore mat parameters. We have corresponding parameters in the door object which we will be able to specify there and transfer their value when calling the macro. Go back to the pentagonal underscore door dot gsm object and activate its 3D script. Type the following code into it. Here we move the local coordinate system to its correct position for the door handle. Its center will be at 0.9 meters in height and 50 millimeters from the door frame. Type the following code into the 3D script. We'll do this in a for underscore next loop because we need to call the macro twice to create the door handle on both sides of the door. The mulls and adds command are there to move the local coordinate system to its correct position for the door handle on the other side of the door. The macro call happens with the call command. Let us look at this in detail. Go to the ARCHICAD GDL reference guide file and find the call command at page 222. There are several variations to the call command. We will use the following. This command calls a macro object and transfers several values to certain parameters of the macro object, so it will create 2D and 3D based on those transfer values. Here we have the following parts. Call. This is the name of the command macro underscore name underscore string. This is the name of the macro object. It must be without file extension and put between quotation marks. Parameters is the keyword that shows that a list of parameters within the macro object follows and values will be assigned to these parameters. Name 1 equals value 1 the name of a parameter within the macro object and the numeric expression which assigns a value to it. If we do not assign values to certain parameters of the macro object, they will use their default values as specified in their parameter list. So the following command will call the macro object called da underscore handle type. It will set values for three parameters within the macro object. 
the GS underscore handle underscore type underscore M parameter of the macro object, we'll take the value of the handle underscore style parameter of the calling library part. The GS underscore handle underscore mat parameter of the macro object will take the value of the handle underscore mat parameter of the pentagonal underscore door dot GSM library part. The GS underscore handle underscore AC underscore mat parameter of the macro object will take the value of the handle underscore ACC underscore mat parameter of the pentagonal underscore door dot GSM library part. After the macro object's code is executed, it will return to the calling library part and the execution will continue at the line after the call command of the calling library part. Make sure that the handle underscore style parameter of the door object is set to a non-zero value. If it is set to zero, no handle will be generated for the door. Activate the 3D view window to see the result. If you orbit around the door in 3D, you can see that it has door handles on both sides. Now, save the object. With this step, we have finished creating the 3D for the object.